Hello guys! How are you guys doing? As always, my name is Chidera Jennifer Abdo and I'm so glad to be here again. I'm so so glad that you guys are still watching my video. Like you guys are the real MVP. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And if you're a returning subscriber, God will bless you. Chop kiss. If you're a new subscriber, what are you waiting for now? Am I not pretty enough? <laughs> Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I post videos. So today guys, I just want to just, you know, do a little bit throwback and remember some things that have happened to me in the past and then some things that have happened to me in the past because of food. And these experiences, they are things that were really annoying because why would you use food to insult people like, especially when the person can afford it. So let's get right to the story. So um, the first time that, the first one I can remember was when um, I had I have an uncle. I had I have an uncle, and he came over to our house some years ago, and he came over for an event. I think a couple that was celebrating their forty years anniversary or something. So. Um, he talked about the event at home and i was like okay cool that is something i really want to go for it's been long i went out for something like you know let me just go out i love to go out then not now so and i'm not sorry short i went for the event with my uncle and at the point we were supposed to go get what to eat so where they were sharing the food my uncle couldn't really go there okay because um, he uses crutches so couldn't really go there. He was just on his seat, so I decided to go get food for both of us. So that's how I went there, and I got my food. And I was now telling the servers that okay, my uncle is over there, and I need to get food for him. And they were like, they won't give me the food. I was like, ah, my uncle is just over there. Look at him there. Like he can't come here. He's on crutches. He can't come here. And need to get food. And these guys are not even listening. But already I already had my food in my plate, and I was like, ah. So when these guys are giving me the food and everything, I was not like, I, I, think, I now made a statement like, you guys are rude. <laughs> um, as I said that, one man like that, well, I cannot forget, I, I can't really remember his face, but I know he was short, he was short and he was dark. This man just collected the food from me. <laughs> he collected the food from me, the food that really dished out for me and poured it back inside the server. I was speechless. Did I, did I say anything? I can't remember if I said anything at that point, but I was speechless. Like, seriously? Whoa. They just. That was it. You, like, someone came for an event. You don't even know who I am. Although I know that I do not know the couple, but just, just imagine that I knew them and you did this to me and I reported you. Like, <laughs> it was more funny, but I'm saying it now it's paining me. This thing happened this happened more than more than seven years ago. <laughs> and the, the my memory is still fresh in my head like this. More than seven years ago that it happened. So I was I didn't say anything. I just went back to the seat where my uncle was. So my uncle was trying to ask me what happened. I didn't know when I started crying. You know, the way I deal with this kind of situation. I'm not crying because of I am hot, but like that's my that's the way I'm trying to vent my you know sadness or my anger. So that's the way I'm trying to vent it. That's me at times. So I started crying, and my uncle was like, ah, "What is it?" I told him. He was like, "Ah, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry." So my uncle, he knows the family, so he was able to get in touch with one or two persons. I'm like, "Okay, okay, and um, care for her food." They got him. What do you want? They brought them um, rice for me. From rice, so I know it's sweet landed. Drink land, drinks landed and everything. Like I ate my fullest so I was like, mm. you know, fit kill my shine. <laughs> okay, the another experience I have with food. <laughs> this one happened um when I was in secondary school. Thank God, thank God this is happened when I was in secondary school. Because if it happened now that I'm an adult, a graduate, haha, <laughs> I will be knocking myself on the head like, how can you be like this? Like if it happened to me now, <laughs> I will look you eyeball to eyeball and tell you, please, is it because of food you want to insult me? Seriously, people should have So, <clears throat> so, um, what am I even saying again? 
<laughs> okay, so the second experience I had was I think this one happened before this one I just told you guys now. So I and my sister we did a um, bridal for a friend, a, a neighbor of ours. We did a bridal for her. So in the event, they, they, I think they were about to toast. They were about to give a toast or something. So they were now sharing um, wine. They shared out the disposable cups. So they're now sharing out the wine too. So I and my sis noticed that um, the wine wasn't getting to us. So we got water and we poured into the cup and we did cheers, you know, like just to be part of what was happening. Then when the wine finally came to our side, we now brought out our cups and this man said, and I quote, he said, hey, <laughs> this man, like he saw us. He said that I and my sis already drank wine and the rest the disposable cup with water to come and collect another one. Like, oh, on top of what's the what? Why that we will not even reach here? Like, ha! Huh. At that point, we felt so embarrassed and insulted. When we went home later that day, <laughs> and we told our mom, my mom was like, because of wine. My mom, my mom was like, I'll go inside. There is this wine that was inside the house. So we brought it out and we shared it and we drank. Seriously, so guys, I, that's like the two things that happened to me in terms of that aspect. So let me know, let me know your experience with, let me know, let me know your experience with um, being embarrassed about food, and it's about something that you can afford, actually not even about food per se, but something that you can afford. What, what was your experience? How did you deal with it? Because all these experiences, I never talked back. I just kept quiet. I mean, I'm, I don't know, I don't know if it's a good thing that I didn't say anything or should I have said something, should I have defended myself, should I have not accepted this, I, I, don't, I don't know, like, guys, tell me, what do you think I would have done? So, I'm waiting for your, um, your contributions, just tell me, just a little bit of chit chat, and, uh, see you guys in my next video, bye.